Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video we will study about the querying of documents in Cosmos DB NoSQL API. So here is the input document on the left side in this sheet where we have the document having the ID, doc type and cards array inside that document and the requirement is to get the output like this as shown on the right side where we want the ID we don't want the doc type then we want the cards array and from the cards array we only want the C status cancel that is any C status which is not active we want in the output so this is just a sample input document and the resultant which we want from this document so let's go to the portal to demonstrate this here we are inside the cosmos db nosql api and and for the sake of time i have already created the document inside the container and here we only have this document as shown in the excel this document okay so if we execute the query select star from c c stands for the documents or the data which is present inside the container so if we, if we execute the query here in the output we get the same result as the input document id doc type and cards and we have to now write a query here in cosmos db to get only id and the cards array we want the c status as cancel okay that is the result should look like this so how we will accomplish this in cosmos db query so here you can see that the query is like star from c so it has got us the entire document right now if we go and do select c from c the container we want id okay c dot doc type from c let's see what it gives so if we execute this it will give us the id and the doc type right now let's see we will click on c dot cards okay so it should give us the cards array too right so we have got the details id doc type and cards right and the other information that is these information that is these properties which are generated by the cosmos db are removed okay so with the help of c that is the container we have got the id doc type and cards and in the result we don't want doc type so we can remove this doc type from here and then the result upon execution will show us id and cards now we have to further go inside the cards array and do a filtering on the c status so in cosmos db in order to access the elements of the array we have a concept if we go here inside the microsoft dev blogs so here is a page on understanding how to query arrays in cosmos db okay this is by the author and if we go here down here is a section called iterating over arrays azure cosmos db provides support for iterating over arrays by using in keyword in the from source okay so here they have used select star from c in t dot gifs so here also we have to perform the same for the cards array so what we'll do is select let's say we'll do first select star from c dot cards let's see what this gives to us So this gives us all the contents which were present inside the cards array, right? So this is the content. And to iterate over arrays, we have to use in keyword. So here in this query, we will do select star from, let's say, x in c dot cards. Okay, let's now query this. So we have got the array. Select star from x in c dot cards. Okay, we have used the concept of in keyword. 
okay for the array now we have to apply the condition c status equals to cancel or c status not equals to active then what we have to do is we will use where x dot c status is not equals to active right now we'll try to execute this so it has given us from within the cards array the value of c status cancel only right so we'll select star from x x is just for reference purpose okay if we go here it is written that we could have used any letter except c to reference the item okay so we are referencing the item c dot cards that is the array so we have used x where x dot c status is not equals to active so this complete query has given us the filtered content from the array right now we have to convert this into an array so that the output looks like this okay we have got this result now we have to put this result into into the cards array so in order to project the result into an array we have a function if we go here if we go further down inside this document we have array projection you can use the array projection to project the results of a query as an array okay and the syntax is like this array then within that array and close the query and rename it to the array name okay so we'll go back and here we will use we will enclose this query result into array and we'll name it as cards okay and upon execution of this we'll not get the result because this is not complete query this has gone into error so now we have to club the above query with this so what we want is if we go back to the official documentation here it is we are taking the id then taking the array which we have renamed and from the container okay so we will use the above query which was this query it was fetching us id and cards from c so this query gave us the id and the cards and for the cards section we have filtered out and got the result inside this query and we have converted it to an array using array projection right so from the main query we will remove c dot cards and we will use comma and take this from c from above we'll cut it and paste it here after cards so the complete query becomes select c dot id then create an array array projection where the data is coming from the array after applying the filter we'll name that array as cards and the whole data is coming from the container right so this becomes the complete query now we'll try to execute this selection and this results into the required output which is the id and the cards array so this is how we can write a simple query in cosmos db so i hope you have understood this thank you for watching the video to let me know in comments if you have any queries happy learning bye